are you all i hope you all are doing great now in this video we are going to start about moon earth's only natural satellite so the moon is a natural satellite of earth it is known as natural satellite of earth now what is satellite satellite is a celestial body that moves around the planets in the same way as the planets move around the sun okay moon is the only natural satellite that earth is having so earth has only one sat satellite and that one is the moon moon is very small as compared to earth okay you must have seen moon in the sky moon appears different at different times isn't it you've you seen that at times the moon appear in the in a crescent shape whereas many times there is no moon in the sky now moon appears different at different time it changes its shapes and size once about month time it is full moon night or purnima a fortnight later is a new moon night or you may say amavasya can be seen okay now its diameter is only one quarter from earth so its diameter is only one quarter that of the earth so because of that you can see that it is of a very small size than that of the earth but because it is comparatively closer to earth it doesn't look that small it is nearer to our planet than other celestial bodies now students do you know that we can see only one side of the moon because moon moves around the earth in about 27 days and it takes exactly the same time to complete one spin and because we find that we can see only one side of moon the moon is the only celestial body other than earth on which human have set their foot so moon is the only celestial body other than earth on which on which humans have set foot do you know who was the first person to set foot on the surface of moon yes it was neil armstrong who landed on the moon on 21st july 1969 there is no life water or air on moon it has huge mountains plains and depression of the surface of moon students in the beginning i said moon is a natural satellite of earth okay now if it is a natural satellite then what is the artificial satellite yes what is the artificial satellite so some satellites are man made these are known as artificial or man made satellite satellite can be of two type natural satellite and man made satellite so natural and man made satellite the natural satellite are the celestial body revolving around the planet is called natural satellite so a celestial body revolving around the planet is called natural satellite whereas the artificial or man made object that orbit around the earth are known as man made satellite so these artificial satellites artificial satellites or man made objects that orbits around the earth is known as your man made satellite the artificial or man made object that orbits around the earth are known as man made satellites are the great importance for human being it is used for many purposes and the purpose is it is used for communication observation navigation mapping and etc student have you ever used google map it is available because of the these natural satellites which make them available in the same with the natural satellite also useful or helpful for us to know and study some natural phenomena such as tides so they are helpful in causing na some natural phenomena for uh, phenomena such as tides moon is only natural satellite of earth natural satellite of earth whereas 
there are many indian satellites which are sent to the space the few important are insat irs edusat these are some indian satellites these are the you may say artificial or the man made satellites which are sent to space by indian scientists okay now other celestial bodies so other celestial bodies of great importance there are there are known as asteroids meteoroids galaxy we already have discussed about the asteroids okay there are numerous tiny bodies which move around the sun these bodies are called asteroids they are found between the orbit of mars and jupiter we already have discussed it when we were discussing about the planets meteoroids are the small piece of rocks which moves around the sun which moves around the sun is called as meteoroids which hold a huge system of billions of stars and clouds of dust and gases are called galaxies so what is galaxy a huge system of billions of stars and cloud of dust and gases is called galaxy a cluster of millions of stars glowing path across the sky is known as milky way galaxy or in hindi it is known as akash ganga millions of such galaxies makes the universe the site keshakushwaha signing off take care bye bye Thank you.